So this is Tobacco Dock, one of the original warehouses still left intact and you can see the original dock is actually still here as well. Uh, going to walk my way down alongside, stand by those ships, maintain my social distancing and I will continue in a second. So you can see the original dock here still in place. Um, this dock wall's actually been left in place and continues all the way back to Hermitage Memorial Gardens. So it is possible to walk along what's now called the Ornamental Canal all the way back. Um, the ships here are replicas. Don't float, made of steel, came down on a lorry from Sunderland, so I understand. Um, but I'll walk down a little bit further and give you a bit more of a, a view of Tobacco Dock and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around behind it which will give you a better idea of the size of it. Um, it's only about half the size it was when it was uh, actually open and being used for tobacco storage. It used to cover around five acres with about two acres of vault storage underneath as well. So enormous buildings. Um, and uh, you can't see an awful lot from here but uh, it's a, a wonderful building inside listed to be preserved now um, and I shall as I say walk around the back where I can actually give you a bit of a view inside as well so I'm going to do that I'm going to pause the video whilst I walk around to the rear so the I'm actually at the back of the building now and this hopefully uh, gives you a better idea of the size of it um, to say covered about five acres originally it's about two-fifths the original size now and um, when the Docklands redevelopment was done in the 1980s this was actually set up as a shopping centre and what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk across as an entrance over here which uh, you can peek through um, and you can see that actually 30 years later there is still what is effectively a 1990s shopping centre mothballed inside. Um, the shopping centre itself opened in 1989. Looks like we've got someone actually going in, so I'm going to let him enter first before I go across. Obviously doing some work there at the moment. Um, I'll give him a couple of minutes, put you on pause. So the shopping centre itself actually, actually opened in 1989 at the precise point where the global market fell through the floor. So it was never successful. It was open for a number of years. Um, but it's still actually in situ in here now. As you can see, it's a wonderful building. Quite atmospheric. And there is a, a complete pub that's been mothballed in here as well called Harry's Bar, which I was lucky enough to go into. Um, still has all the original furniture, everything except beer. Um, whether or not it ever reopens, we shall see. There is actually a, an awful lot of development happening here. Um, as you can see, further across, lots of new homes being built, new schools, new offices, new shops on what was originally the print works for Murdoch's newspapers, the site there. So we'll see what happens. Okay, well that was Tobacco Dock. I'm now going to walk up towards where my walk would normally finish, which is the Prospect of Whitby, and I will see you there. <laughs> 